Uh, Riddhi or Vasu, how long will this take? Ma'am, we are waiting for the participants to join. As soon as the all, all will be there, we'll start the event. Greetings for the day. I'm Rudhi Anand, the management head of Splash It On, the Canvas Painting Competition. I feel extremely honored to introduce the judges for our event. Dr. Ritu Bhagat, she's an assistant professor in the Department of History. Ms. Vishali Kapoor, she's an assistant professor in economics. And Ms. Ruchika Rana, she's a professor in economics department. It's our pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to you all. Your presence means a lot to us. Art is a medium that one can use to express one inner feeling out loud. So, making canvas as a medium, Shama Prasad Mukherjee College presents Splash It On, the canvas painting competition, where the participants can express their story to canvas and their deep desires and fantasies. Several students participated in the competition. So, we present to you our top 15 participants who have proved that life is a great big canvas. Now, we present to you our first participant. Yashaswini Sahib from Sri Aurobindo College. Only close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste your blood. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we love. Never trust, yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And love, love, we are going oh, through the wastelands, through the highways, through the shadow, through the sun rays. And love, love, we are going through the wastelands, through the highways. And love, love, we are going. Hello everyone, this is Yashaswini Sahai. I am a student of BA program first year from Sri Aurobindo College, University of Delhi. I am going to give a short description of this painting. I have chosen the theme fantasy and it is done using acrylics on a canvas board of 8 into 10 inches. I have drawn a fairy sitting on the moon with a book in her hand. I have always been fascinated by fairies and when I read the theme, it is the first thing that came to my mind. Finding a quiet corner to read has been my favorite thing to do so. And better place to read than the moon. So I combined my love for both these things to create the artwork. And at last, I just want to thank Artistry, the fine arts 
Society of Shama Prasad Mukherjee College to organize this art competition with a heart touching theme. Thank you so much. Our second participant is Deepika Sharma from Shama Prasad Mukherjee College for Women. <laughs> No, I don't want no rest Echoing around these walls Fighting to create a song I don't want to miss a beat And I will go Through the wastelands, through the highways Through my shadow, through the sun rays And I will go A very warm greeting to one and all present here. Myself, Deepika Sharma, and I am pursuing political science honors from Ramat Prasad Mukherjee College for Hillary. For a canvas painting competition, I chose the theme fantasy. I have prepared an artwork in which Lord Krishna is playing a flute. This is a mesmerizing and spellbinding experience of even imagining the beautiful sound of flute Lord Krishna plays. Everything seems so beautiful, calm, and engrossing after listening. To it. We always fantasize that Lord Krishna bestows all his blessings upon us. I also believe that there could not have been any better scene to paint. It gave me immense satisfaction and happiness to remember my Lord and pay him artwork. Thank you. Third participant, Sonia Tanwar from Shamlal College. <laughs> Turn us to thousands, and we'll grow in number. Few birds on the sea, the horizon. Turn us to thousands, and we'll go to the wasteland, to the highways. Uh, due to some unforeseen reasons, Sonia will not be able to join us today, so I will be speaking on her behalf. She has painted a canvas that reminds her of her grandfather who used to drop her to school. She expresses her nostalgic feelings through this piece. Thank you. Fifth participant, fourth participant, Shruti Shri from Shama Prasad Mukherjee College. Hello everyone, I am Shruti Shri and I am from Shama Prasad Mukherjee College and I am pursuing political science honors. So I have made this painting using acrylics and I, uh, while painting this, uh, a question came in my mind and I want to ask you, I want to ask this from you all, like have you ever met someone uh, and known someone uh, for your entire life? This is a sweet nostalgic feeling about things that you are yet to happen and you want to lose yourself in the feeling 
no matter how unrealistic or fantastical it seems there is always a hope inside you that you will meet this person again in a different magical place at a different time in a field so far away from the chains of reality that you could just stay there forever this artwork is inspired from the movie your name and i chose to draw this because it rekindles a sense of magic inside me it has beautiful fantastical elements that i wish i came true and i have tried to capture even a little bit of that magic with my art thank you Fifth participant Shreya Jaiswal from Lady Shri Ram College. everyone this is shreya jaiswal just to check am i audible yes you are i am shreya jaiswal a third year mathematics honor student from lady shri ram college it has been rightly said that a person needs a little madness or else they'll never dare to cut the rope and be free so this is an abstract painting that is made using acrylic colors on canvas board the theme that i have chosen is desire The name that I have given to this artwork is Desire Creates Power. Lockdown has not only curbed the human life within the walls but has also limited many dreams, desires and aspirations. So through my painting I have showcased what I dream in the present time. I wish to become a bold woman which is full of hopes and madness who expresses herself without any fear of judgment. The women in the painting presents colorful joyful and free life they are dancing without any music wearing beautiful dresses and enjoying themselves in this challenging moment i dream of a world which is full of open thoughts a world which comes together to dance and enjoy the life with one another a world which looks at every gender equally and a world which aspires to make every day a better place a better day Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. Sixth participant, Sanjana Jaiswal, from Janaki Devi Memorial College. <laughs> Sanjana, please speak your description. Seventh participant, Rudran Singh from Agra College. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rudraesh. I am pursuing BSc first year from Agra College, and I don't really have much description on this artwork. I actually had a canvas, and I had to make something on it. I saw the reference online. This she was uh, straight looking into me, and I loved the color combination, and I knew I had to draw this one. So we yes, are basically that is the reason I drew it. I don't have much reason. I didn't have much reason. I just loved the reference. I loved the reference. Nothing else. Rudraj, Rudraj, uh, yes, did you uh, did you see this photograph somewhere, or was it, and you wanted to paint it? Yes, exactly. Okay. Eighth participant, Rithik Rahul from IIT Delhi. Hello, yeah. So I'm uh, Rithik Rahul from IIT Delhi, and uh, for this theme, uh, fantasy desire, uh, I have portrayed uh, the goddess Athena with her owls. Uh, she is the goddess of wisdom, and in the uh, painting, you can see that she is leading the mysterious uh, jungle with her with the help of her owl. And uh, uh, this one hell of a journey in the jungle is a reminder of how life is a mix of joys and sorrows. And it is really a fantasy and desire that one can be guided by the goddess of wisdom in this uh, mystery, mystical uh, and fantastical path of the jungle. Uh, also, uh, with the goddess of wisdom by our side, a uh, curious mind can explore the exciting and the vast and adventurous life. And uh, and if one can be led by uh, such uh, 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 such god, and one can be led by such god, then. Uh, his life won't face much difficulty in uh, handling the difficult situations and all. Yeah, so I portrayed the fa my fantasy that if I could led by such a beautiful god with her owls uh, in my entire life, then uh, it would be a really uh, 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 a fantastical uh, moment for me. No, so, thank you. Ninth participant, Niru from the Alpha <coughs> Evening College. <coughs> Hello everyone, I am Niru from the Al Singh Co Evening College and uh, I am pursuing English honors. Symbolic of unfathomable love and affection which surpasses the boundaries of the materialistic world. The Radha Krishna canvas painting are known to bring a similar bond between the married couples. The Lord Krishna paintings in which the Dyke is narrating the Gita Gyan are also very famous. And uh, I would like to say that we have to be aware about our past culture. And I'm glad, glad to join this competition. Thank you so much, everyone. 10th participant, Khushi Jain from Guru Gobind Singh College of Commerce. <laughs> Ha 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 
Good afternoon, judges. Um, I'm Kushi Jain, a first year student at Sri Guru Gobind Singh College of Commerce. The theme for my painting is Desire of Fantasy. This theme based painting is close to my heart as it clearly speaks what do I fancy the most? My desires. It is made from thick oil paints which adorn my canvas just the way I embellish life with my heartfelt desires. Shown in this astounding artwork is a hodophile, brown haired girl who craves to explore, travel, and visit the undiscovered places of the world. She escapes reality by diving into her art, thus converting her thoughts and dreams into colors of different shades and tones. Yes, I'm talking about myself. The shiny colors flow on my canvas like my desires in my head. Life is an art to me, and every opportunity I get to showcase my art talent is a blessing to me. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to explain the miraculous idea behind this artwork. 11th participant, Himanshi Arya from Gargi College. <laughs> A very good afternoon to all the judges present here. My name is Imanshi Arya and I'm from Gargi College. Uh, I named this painting The Blue Moon um, because uh, I'm very close to nature and the moment I saw this topic, fantasy, I was super excited to show my creativity. I painted this blue moon, uh, this moon in a blue color because uh, in my fantasy, the reflection of blue water is shown in the moon, which is something so beautiful. The trees standing alone represent how beautiful you can look alone, even when you're alone. People nowadays think that being alone is something to be shameful of, but they don't know that self-love is the first step towards happiness. After studying psychology, I learned a lot about self-love, and I think that uh, being alone can also be uh, a beauty in itself. Uh, also, I'm in love with nature, and uh, that's why I painted this painting. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Twelfth participant Garima Sharma from Institute of Home Economics. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I am Garima from Institute of Home Economics, pursuing journalism honors. Uh, the theme I chose was fantasies and desires. The fantasies I have during these hard times of pandemic. I want to be free like the butterfly and fly like it in a colorful sky, which depicts happiness in an individual's life. Also, I want to travel to a peaceful place, just like the place in the painting, as it will help me find myself and help me spread happiness in others' life. Thank you. And thank you for the opportunity. 13th participant, Samir Parker from Hindu College. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Unfortunately, Samir will also not be able to speak. Uh, so I will be speaking on his behalf. His message is, तू वो भी तू वो तो नहीं जो तुझे सिखाया गया, तू वो भी नहीं जो तुझे बनाया गया. खुद से ही दूर है, खुद से ही कफा. क्यों सब लोग यहाँ खुद से हैं रूठे? खुद को ही ढूँढ रहे, खुद को खोके. कहना चाह रहे मन की, लेकिन खुद को ही बांध रहे, खुद के इरादे. क्या गलत क्या सही पूछता हूँ मैं लेकिन वही झूठ अब भी है यहीं रुक जाना चाहता हूँ पर एक अजीब सा डर है ठहर कर थाम लो खुद को जिससे खो रहा है हर घड़ी ये एक कहानी है एक इंसान की या आपकी या शायद मेरी दिस मैसेज इज फ्रॉम समीर पार्कर फॉर हिज पेंटिंग पार्टिसिपेंट सोनियो पाद है फ्रॉम श्री और कॉलेज Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sonia Upadhyay from Sri Aurobindo College, and I'm pursuing B.A. English Honors. And I painted on the theme fantasy desire. Through my painting, I tried to show my obsession towards clear skies and birds, and that peaceful energy comes from the nature. We humans are going ahead and forgetting about our nature, but my art, through my artwork, I try to show my desire towards a peaceful life with a healthy and happy nature around us. Thank you. Fifteenth participant, Anjali Singhal from Amity University. <laughs> Anjali, please speak your description. Okay, so all the paintings are so mesmerizing that I just couldn't take my eyes off. The efforts put in by each and every one of you are definitely worth praising and highly appreciable. Today, each and every one's painting spoke way much that words never can. That's what an artist is. Thank you so much, guys. Now the judges might take their time in finalizing the winners. All the best to all the participants. So till the time the judges decide and analyze the best fit ones as the winners, we definitely would not let you get bored. So an inspiring short film is going to start in a moment. So be ready. Mornings are clear black for me. The only light I see is the inner voice that constantly asks me, "How would the world be?" Seeking that unseen truth, my imagination runs wild, searches and searches for the clarity, the vision, and the potential that is hidden. 
I see through my heart, my conscience, my soul. And I put that imagination, the understanding on canvas, to build that unseen, unimagined painting that only a soul can see, a conscience can perceive, and a heart can feel. My room is full of paintings and sketches. You would not find anything else. Paintings earn me my bread and butter, my shelter and my water. I sleep around paintings. I cry around paintings. Paintings are my friend. And paintings are my lover. I live in a single room with two windows and a balcony. It's on first floor of an old independent house. My owners don't charge me much. They are kind. This morning, I started a new painting, planning to finish up by evening. My friend said he would drop by for a coffee. Busy lives allow you time only for coffee these days. I am an artist. I drink whenever I want. This painting is complex. I need to take a lot of measurements. Canvas would be not a lot, I wonder. Nevertheless, paintings are like lives. You never know if the canvas would be. Just start off and keep adjusting the outlines according to the size. I have drawn an outline of it. I need to fill colors. Ah, but with us, no more. Every painting has its destiny. This one I have to do. Your good time has passed. I have now filled colors as well. My painting is ready now. Hope this movie helped you all learn something better and gave a wonderful life lesson. Now let's see a beautiful video portraying all the final artworks in an enthusiastic manner. So relax and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
so the most awaited moment has come the judges are ready with the results don't get disheartened guys there's always a second chance this is just the beginning many more opportunities are on your way respected judges now i would like you all to announce the winners Uh, guys, we're gonna take one more minute, and we'll be there. We'll be just there. Just one more minute. It's so tough for the judges as all the artworks were so fabulous. Respected judges, now I would like you all to announce the winners. Um, first of all, I congratulate all of you. It was really wonderful. Uh, all all those paintings were mesmerizing, and we were just amazed by the energy that you shared and um, the visuals that you created. Amazing, amazing! Uh, really, I really like to clap for you all. Wonderful, wonderful! Uh, with the results, I think uh, Dr. Ritu and uh, Richika Ma'am will be going ahead. Ma'am, over to you, please. 
Uh, okay, participants. Uh, hello, participants. I hope I'm audible. And this was really a wonderful session. Some of your paintings were extremely good. And um, the point that we all kept in mind uh, was the theme that you chose for your paintings, uh, originality, and the thought and presentation that went with it. So we have chosen our winners. Um, but uh, I would say that all of you did very well. Uh, all your paintings were interesting and I think sort of reflected your, um, your desires and fantasies and the times, I suppose, that we are living in today. Uh, but we have made our decision. It was a little tough. Yes, some of uh, you were really good and um, it was a bit difficult to decide and choose. Um, so, uh, well, let me just make the announcement uh, without keeping the suspense anymore. Uh, we've chosen Ritik Rahul as the first prize winner and second goes to Sonia. And for the third, Sonia Tavar. And for the third, uh, we have chosen uh, Shruti. Um, some of you were really good. Uh, Rudranj has immediately left. <laughs> so, uh, but his painting was good. And I think he was honest, honest enough to admit that he saw it from somewhere and made it. I think what he couldn't really tell us was that the intensity of the face and emotions that photograph reflected was probably what attracted him to it. But Ritik, yours was uh, all the all the participants that we've chosen, we've kept in mind that um, originality and uh, your presentation. So I hope, congratulations to all of you. And I hope you'll continue with this, um, your painting and artwork and do well in life. So congratulations again. And thank you, uh, Riddhi, Vasu, Jyoti, and Ritika for uh, your teamwork and for this wonderful presentation. Congratulations to all the winners. I'll be contacting you soon for the prizes. Thank you all for being such a patient audience and due respect to all the judges for joining this wonderful event. And finally, thank you participants and team for making this event a big success. Thank you.